और आधुरी आधुरी बातों में वो सभी भागे वो भागे है एक तो सरे से दूर यादों में यादों में पर बसी है तू ओके Hi, this is Raman Sharma, and you're watching me on Mirchi Plus. Are you still rolling? Cut it. Hi, this is Adarsh Shukla from Mirchi Plus. K-pop बहुत सुना है, but India किसी से पीछे नहीं है. I-pop आने वाला है. आ चुका है actually. We have a member of it, Raman Sharma. Very warm welcome, uh-huh. Raman. Thank you so much for having me here. So I want to start with how many compliments you get uh, in a day for your eyes. In a day. Yeah. Or like how many compliments <laughs> you get in general for your eyes. I. जब बाहर जाता हूँ, I think I usually get sometimes. Okay. I don't really like get upfront con like compliments, but yeah, I get like like looks about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then I can kind of understand by uh-huh. looking at people's eyes, <laughs> like what are they thinking basically. But yeah, most of the time I'm at home. I'm like a homeboy, homebody. So oh. yeah. I don't like on average if you think I don't get that many comments. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure your DMs might be full. Um so we'll talk about music first. Um ye jo idea hai about you know the music when did it start? Kab se like bachpan se hota na shock hota hai kuch na kuch karne ka how was it for you? So I think music has always been there. Hmm. I think everybody has like a thing for music because it's like yeah. it's like sound, it's like a sense like which you can, which can make you feel in in a way and uh, i always was inclined to music uh, along with my brother so far okay. yeah so it was actually her mom who put us into music first wow. and she made a she made me join i was always a uh, like a rhythm person so she i wanted to learn drums but she put me into tabla first Ooh. and then singing lessons and then slowly slowly i progressed into like different instruments Wow. So you learned tabla? Yeah, I, I used to learn tabla. I started when I was like six or something. Ah, oh, wow. Do you sing also? Of course. I, I used to. Yeah, of, of course. course. <laughs> so, like you said, you are a rhythm person. Of course, in a song, rhythm is a very important. Like it's yeah. a very one of the most important things. Yeah. तो सिंगिंग वाला सीट वेन डिड यू नो के ओके यू कैन सिंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज एक होता है ना देर इज अ टाइम वेन वी डिस्कवर के हाँ हम गा सकते हैं हु इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन दैट टोल्ड यू ओके बेटा तू गा सकता है I don't think there was a person who told me ki you realize yourself to to ga sakta hai I think I was just you know like school mein they like expose you to singing and yeah. you just start singing and then you're just a singer I think anybody can sing for that matter everybody's voice is beautiful and you just need a little bit of training and like playing with your vocal texture to like just right. figure out how exactly singing suits you Right. Did you train also in singing? Yeah, yeah. I used to train in Hindustani classical when oh, I was wow. very small, wow. and then it went into like more informal Hindustani with like ghazals and stuff. I used to learn from my teachers, but like my teachers kept changing, so uh, it was very like broken, broken teaching. So yeah, it kind of stopped after like third, fourth grade. I'm pretty fascinated right now. <laughs> Like at such a young age, you are into ghazals, Hindustani music, music, Hindustani classical, tabla, and all. Wow, man, nice. So, ye uh, you are coming with uh, with a new song, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jadui Pari. Tell me about that. Jadui Pari is basically I I start I get inspiration for songs through my dreams, hmm. and really? I had this I had this crazy ass dream about uh, about like a toxic relationship dynamic between two people. and i just remember being this person who was like completely crazily in love with this one person i don't remember the like face it's like you know how dreams, dreams are blurry dreams you don't remember faces and then you don't remember faces <laughs> yeah. so usme i was like crazily in love with this girl and i used to think like she was oh she was magical but i used, i could also see that she was like mad at me and like like the relationship was like doomed it was like very toxic yeah and she was like i remember like a scene in which she was like She's throwing stuff at me, and she's angry, and I'm just like smiling and just complimenting her. It was like a weird dynamic. So and like this tune was just playing in my head, and I woke up and I just recorded, like, uh, like no matter what happens, to the fine him in LA. So that's how, <laughs> like, that's how the inspiration for the song came, and it slowly built into like a fun track with kind of messy and sad lyrics, but also fun lyrics on a fun beat, which is pretty much our lives. 
Yeah, yeah. just pretty much our lives. Yeah, like. And you t- the, you said that in scene me ye kar rahe you're talking about dreams there. Yeah, I'm talking about dreams completely. Wow. Yeah. So you get your inspiration from dreams, right? Mm, oh my god. Mm, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. But that's very fascinating. Yeah. And that's very unusual. It's like in this way I don't have to like mess with like my ro- like real romantic love life to like write songs. It's like <laughs> oh you have a dream about like a crazy situation and you just write about it because you act in in your dreams you actually think it's like real, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Like you think it's actually happening. Right. And then when you wake up that feeling is still there. So you can like try to capture that feeling into a song. Wow. And that's how it works. Do you remember the first song ever that you made or you thought of making? The first song I ever made was right after I hit I hit puberty. Oh. It was about like my first high school crush, I think. I think okay. middle school crush, yeah. That's what okay. it was. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And this whole idea of iPop. I think I was always into pop music growing up, mm-hmm. like EDM, pop music. that was like the first western kind of music which i was introduced to and after like hindustani music and bollywood music which was like my music from my childhood right this was like a thing which was like new to me and i it, i thought it was so cool while listening to it so like my music is like a mix of both it can be anything basically and i pop i think is just indian pop it has indian elements it has pop elements it can be whatever you want basically pop yet indian yeah pop yet indian wow but i'm sure uh, you know you'll agree to this the crazy fan following that k pop has mm-hmm. and uh, looking at your instagram and instagram yeah, i i so you know uh, like saw your social media posts and the comments uske upar hai i'm sure you're getting there uh, mm-hmm. as uh, you know in regards of the craze that's there mm. do you read your dms do, do you ever check your dms to get the to to get the idea of it ke ये यू नो व्हाट 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 पीपल आर टेक्सटिंग मी या क्या क्या चल रहा है उनके दिमाग में आई मीन डीएम्स आर ऑलवेज रैंडम लाइक आई आई कांट रियली एक्सप्लेन हाउ लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डीएम्स बिकॉज़ लाइक पीपल आर लाइक जस्ट डिफरेंट एंड सो यूनिक एंड जस्ट रीडिंग पीपल्स पर्सपेक्टिव्स अबाउट लाइक लाइक समटाइम्स पीपल जस्ट डीएम देयर लाइफ स्टोरीज टू मी लाइक एक एक करके लाइक जस्ट डेली अपडेट्स एंड आई डोंट इवन नो व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड समटाइम्स पीपल जस्ट सेंड मी random reels which have you know like some kind of like yeah. tiktoks which have like no meaning at all and you're just like so yeah sometimes when i'm really really bored or i like or something cool is happening with my music or something i just read my dms and respond to them sometimes wow that's that's a nice way to do it yeah <laughs> do you watch cringe videos jo hote hain social media par oh they just you can't avoid them <laughs> and you watch them pura right Yeah. Yeah, they're addictive. Yeah, they are very. <laughs> Do you like cringe videos? Yeah, I love them. Love them as in so, you know, uh, I was reading one of the comments ke I don't know ye main pura kyu dekhta hu. Un un cringe mm-hmm. videos mein niche there are comments people are asking why kyu pura main dekhta hu ya dekhti hu. Kind of like know. you get to know your personality based yeah. on what you find cringe. It's like oh, this is mm. <laughs> Hello? I know. Yeah. <laughs> How do you come, you know, uh, Raman ye bahut baar hota hai ke this you're making something hmm. or for that matter any creative person then this uh, creative block comes into the picture hmm. how do you overcome that i think i have kabhi aisa obviously i thoda bahut kabhi aata hai for 2 3 months you just have to change your like you have to not let your emotions control you and like stop feeling numb and like just like face them basically and hmm. face who you are and what you are and like what are you doing basically and once you get like a sense of that like one self uh you like you can like write about anything you want basically wow. like you can write about being in a creative block and yeah. how difficult it is to be an artist right, right. because everybody just keeps expecting you to make art all the time so are you someone raman ke you know kuch banaya maine for example tumne and you go to your parents and ask them dekho na dekho na ek nayi tune nahi hai are you someone like that no <laughs> i don't usually like cuz indian parents they're like they have a specific taste and obviously right. that's what they grew up with like mm. the old school bollywood taste so like everything like the younger generation makes is like new to them right. they appreciate it they support yeah. it but, but it's not necessarily what they would listen to yeah. but because my parents love me so much they would probably <laughs> listen to it and just share it on their whatsapp groups so yeah it's out of love that they do yeah <laughs> I don't necessarily want to show it to them but they want to find out anyways. 
Amazing. That's the good quality, good part of Indian parents also. Yeah. Right? The unconditional love that they show. Yeah, they do. Huh. Raman, I cannot not talk about the amazing fashion nista thing that you have on your social media. Fashion is a thing. As in the way you dress, the way you, even the way your songs are picturized. Um, mm. It's very aesthetic. So, मुझे ये जानना है कि is it your input about you know what are what are you gonna wear or how it's gonna be or how 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 does it go about? I especially remember one of the songs in which you're wearing something red and a crown on your head. It was yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the the not a music video. It's not a music video of of Jadoo Pari basically. Ah, okay. So uh, it's uh, so the thing with my music. I don't know how it came up, but I always wear suits. in anything related to my music you like i know i'm not wearing right it right now <laughs> but it's like this is like a casual chill situation so yeah. but it's like whenever i'm like i might be actually like properly performing or whether it's like the cover art of one of my songs if there's me in it i'm always wearing like a suit or something close to a suit like a blazer or something so it's like in like the cover art of one of my songs called december i had hmm. one like a blue suit even yeah. for two days and now even jaudi pari I'm always wearing suits for some reason, so it just kind of came to be wow. what it is. I don't like usually think about how I dress that much. It's just like a part of me. Wow, you know I asked you this because um, when we're talking about pop, we see, K-pop is the first thing that comes mm-hmm. into mind, right? And उन लोगों के अगर videos या pictures if we see they're too much also focused on. you know the the, yes, the aesthetic, aesthetic version aesthetic. part of it isliye maine pucha mujhe laga ki it might be one of the conscious things that you also do um also it, the crown thing i want to know about that oh the crown thing yeah. uh, i the day i came for shoot yeah. uh, my director uh, dar guy she she's a ukrainian director okay. so she had this idea about like like so the song's name is jadoo pari so she wanted something magical and like something out of the ordinary something legendary she called it she always likes to use the word legendary yeah. and <laughs> she the crown was just there and as soon as we started shooting somebody just gave me the crown and i just put it on and i just vibe wow. with it <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing though yeah thank you <laughs> is there any signature thing that you want uh, you know uh, you to be known for because every musician uh, has one one signature element attached to it uh-huh. um even any creative uh, person for that matter be it a painter or mm-hmm. you know anyone musician is it kabhi socha hai ki okay ya kabhi aise self analysis karte hai na ki kya is this my signature thing or that is something aisa kabhi aaya i think with my music hmm. i or with my art or anything like visually creatively hmm. anything i want my music like sorry whatever it may be to make the listener or the person who's seeing it like just just feel feel whatever they want. Yeah. And I think different different songs I make I'm trying to like like encapsulate like feelings which I felt and want people to feel as well. Cuz right. I think like the point of life in some way is to feel. Right. Cuz true. And feel alive in right. like that's what makes you feel alive. Like feeling happy, feeling proud of yourself for a compl- for accomplishing something like everything you work towards is for a certain type of feeling like it's basically what it is so feeling with music is like something which is very very personal to me and i want everybody to like experience it wow so i just hope my music lets them feel every feeling basically it is good i can tell you as an audience i can tell you it is good um kabhi aisa you know Okay, is film music has ever fascinated? Sorry, oh. has ever uh, film music fascinated you? Film music. Yeah. Film music. Or you maybe you wanna try for it. Oh, like like in the Bollywood industry. Yes. In Indian, any any language for that matter, because in now it's, language, it's, okay. it's 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 uh, the world is small. Uh, in India, any language. I mean, Bollywood film music has a special place in everybody's heart, obviously, because yeah. while growing up, I watched. this generation's favorite movies which were like 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 the rom- rom-coms like while growing up I remember watching ravan and chennai express and ye jawani hai diwani like these yeah. were the kind of movies i grew up on not yeah. like 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 the 90s wale movies Got but it. the more 2005 right, 2010s right, movies right, right. so like those songs like they're like irreplaceable for me they're very very like me 
like i remember like my dad driving me down on like a like a rainy night and i'm just sleeping and listening to those songs in the car so like those kind of film songs were the the first kind of music which i was introduced to so i would like to sing in a film you and like be something like that for somebody who's growing up listening to music oh wow yeah <laughs> the, the the cycle the, the future cycle, cycle, yeah, cycle right yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be like a dream come true wow what's your favorite uh, you know uh, when you talk about film music what's your favorite mm. uh, song like jo first aata hai you want to listen ke okay mere liye ye film music hai uh, any song for that matter i i love songs from the movie barfi Uh, Have you seen Barfi? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> like the song, the, the like the soundtrack of the movie Barfi is amazing. Yeah. My next part goes without saying which song, and I, we I, we would love to hear you sing that. I think you're missing right now. Yeah, if you can. Oh, okay. Um, I love Firle Aya Dil. Oh wow! Can you sing it for us? Have you heard Firle? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Arijit <coughs> and Rekha Bhar. Like we have two versions of it. Hmm. Yeah, can you sing I'm it? I'm not. Us? I'm not vocally warmed up. Right That's now. okay. That's okay. But I think it goes like. Fir le aaya de majboor kya kije? Wow. Yeah, it goes like that. I can say it's the iPop version of uh, Fir le aaya de. It's not iPop right <laughs> now. I'm just singing the song. I'm, how I'm it just, was. I'm just naming it because we have different re- reprise versions. Rekha Bharatwaj's version. Hmm. Now we have Raman's version of it. Okay. Yeah, in Raman's voice. Um, okay. Uh, jam sessions and music creation. ये तो है. What else do you like to do? I really love sports. Oh, like which one? I was football. Oh. Football is like my go-to sport ever. Wow. Like growing up, I I used to watch football all the time, and I used to I used to play football for my school, for for the youth 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 academy of Mumbai City FC. Yeah. And I used to even play nationals for CIC. Oh, wow. Maharashtra. Yeah. Oh wow. Like I was so obsessed with football, and yeah, that I just kind of like used to always want to go down and play every day. It's wow. like it's like an it's like a drug. Ah, uh-huh, of course. Yeah. It's 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 it, it's therapy also. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I think the Indian football scene yeah. is is like it's rising, and I think it's it's really really nice. Wow. Ah, uh, also, Raman, um, you know, are you a foodie person or a non-foodie person? It's a random way question I that could... I want to know. Do you consider yourself foodie? Myself, yes. But okay, so for me, the definition of foodie is. Not someone who eats a lot, but someone who likes to try different things. Huh. I don't know actually. <laughs> I like to try different things, but certain things are like I don't want to try them at all. Like by looking <laughs> at them. So What is like, that one thing you can't stand? I don't know any like it's like textures, you know. Yeah. Like when it's like very very slimy, I cannot <laughs> cannot put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like it, like it something like yeah yeah. Yeah, like I would like like a little bit of like crunch and a little bit of like I don't know how to explain it. It's very vague, but wow. yeah. I ask this because uh, you know uh, when when people watch this, uh, mm. they would want to know. We they know your music. They will, I'm sure, know your music even more. But uh, they would want to know more about you also because this uh-huh. is why I wanted to know this. But I'm glad you told. uh talking about music again raman classical uh, like you said start kiya tha bachpan mein uh-huh. seekhna do you think uh, when it comes to indian pop uh, the elements of more classical you'll put or you want to put i definitely want to incorporate a lot of indian beats into my music in the future i think right now i am like figuring out my sound exactly like what a kind of music yeah. i make yeah. i like have like a lot of like brainstorming about that yeah. like very often but i think i would want to incorporate that in the future yeah because like, that might make like, it unique yeah yeah like yeah i think a lot of artists in india i know who are who i look up to who are older than me i like do that right but i want to like put a bit of like raman into like the scene wow wow on that note Now I'm gonna ask you quick questions, and you have to answer me very quickly for that. Okay? 
I am not good at that. Okay, <laughs> okay you can take your time. <laughs> okay, okay. You can but take five minutes. I can, I can, I can also ask a quick. No worries. Amazing. <laughs> I'm like a very, very slow thinker, but it's fine. You can go. I'll, it. I'll cut out the pauses if you want. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So, what was the first instrument you learned to play? I think you told Tabla. me that. Mm. Right, right. Uh, which song or artist inspired you to? You, you know, maybe is there any inspiration that maybe you know motivated you to pursue your career in music? Oh, One Direction. Okay, because one is a hobby, one is a now I want to make it as a career. Yeah. It was One Direction? Yeah, when I heard One Direction, I was like, oh, I want to make music, you know. I don't know why, but... I love yeah. that confidence. Yeah. And that's really... No, no, that <laughs> should be no there. reason for it, yeah. but it's just like, when I heard them, I was like, oh, music is cool, I want to make music. Wow. Yeah. And, and I'm glad that, you know, you also got support from your family. Hmm. That, yeah. That's really rare and very important. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, okay, what's your favorite? key to play, you, you know, do you have a scale, your, your comfort scale or uh, maybe, you know what I'm saying, right? So, yeah. like, the key I like to listen to music is not like an actual, like, it's not a tune which is there in the scale. It's like, I like to listen to music in 432 hertz. I don't know okay. if people know about that, but like 432 hertz and 528 hertz are like keys in which are like not standardized musical notes, but like if, like, they're like, there are theories about them, like they sound yeah. great or something like that. Yeah, basically that's my favorite key. Wow. Uh, do you prefer, like, if given a you know choice, uh, do you would you pref do you prefer performing live or recording in the studio? Performing live, obviously. That's your comfort area. Yeah, that's not my comfort area. But you but like that? I, I want that. And what's yeah. your comfort thing? Comfort is studio, obviously. Right. Comfort is not even studio. It's like in my bedroom, like my bed studio, home studio. Uh, right. When you're just in the process of thinking yeah. and making and jamming. It's very cozy head. and it's very yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. I think anybody can record music right, right now right. from home. Right. High of quality course. music, yeah. Yeah, and also put it out on social media. Yeah. The best platform it is yeah. right now. Na. <laughs> nice. Okay, what's the... Mo Do you have any memorable, uh, you know, me basically any memory of concert that you've attended? You'll never forget. The first big, big concert I attended huh. was was when Justin Bieber came to India in 2016. Ah, right, right. That was the first concert I went to and I was 11, I think 10 years old. And I just wanted to go and I went with my dad, my brother and like all of my siblings. And we had like the greatest time. I know there were like controversies about like that he lip synced and stuff. But yeah. I didn't care. I was just enjoying the music and just dancing. Right, because you were there. It was like a surreal experience, like seeing like, like thousands of people out about like and with like the flashlights on it's like it gives you a lot of anxiety and like you're burning like in your chest but it's like I love that feeling for some reason a lot of things happening inside exactly, you, which exactly, you can't explain exactly. but you love it yeah like you think like the world yeah. is so big it's so grand and you can't comprehend it right. like that feeling is amazing for sure Uswak, aisa, you know aisa, because as an aspiring creative person musician aisa bhi lagta hoga na, yaar. I will also perform one day like that. And I'll also mm. have fans screaming for me aloud like this. Toby, I did not think like that because I had not written my first song. Topic. I was like 10 years yeah, old. 10, yeah, you're I was just learning okay. music. Yeah. So, yeah, but that feeling was incomparable. <laughs> Uncomparable. Incompar okay, whatever. Can't be compared. Can't be compared. <laughs> so, uh, what's the most challenging song that you have maybe have learned to play? Uh, or the most Challenging song. Yeah. Do you think anything that's challenging for you or maybe any note that you feel, okay, I want to master this. I maybe I'm not very, you know, well versed right now. Hmm. I think I always try to work with different, different singing techniques. Okay. I think since my like Hindustani classical music like training was like interrupted, it was like I know some types of like ways to sing Hindustani musical, but not completely. And like sometimes my voice is not like ideal Hindustani and not ideal like Westernish also because I try to like, like I mimic the style of singing also. So it's like in the middle of it's somewhere. A blend. So yeah, I try to, I'm trying to like actively master both wow. so that then I can like blend them together uh, in a better way. Wow, amazing. Any one artist you would like to collaborate and let's stick to India. Let's stick to India. I would love. I have no artist in mind right now. Wait, wow. Whoa. I have no artist in mind. <laughs> it's weird. I think right now, since I'm figuring out my own sound, mm -hmm. I would like to put out more solo projects. And like, when I'm like a bit more like established with what kind of music I put out, yeah, you figure well, out when this. I will collaborate and like, yeah. yeah. Who, who are you a fan of right now in India when we talk about music? 
It could be film, it could be independent, it could be any. I mean, I'm a fan of, I mean, of course, the film industry, singers, like Arijit Singh is like an all-time great in my that? opinion right yeah. now. And right now, I I really enjoy Ritwiz's music. Ah, right. Ritwiz, and then Pratik Kuhar, Anur Jain, right. all of those people are like, yeah, they're just like, they're vibing in the music industry. And I, I, I used to listen to their music when I was lit, like, I think like 13, 14 year old. And yeah, like their music is just, it's just very unique. And it changed the music industry yeah. for what it was. It, like independent music came into like, came, yeah. so like I have a lot of respect to them, f for them. Wow. In that way. Wow. Uh, what's your favorite genre to, of, uh, of music to listen to? I mean, it sounds very generic of me or like cliche of me to say, but I listen to all kinds of genres. <laughs> like I listen like R&B, like huh. hip hop sometimes, but not like too much hip hop, like sometimes. And although I love Metro Boomin, okay. and like R&B, hip hop, pop, indie sometimes. Uh, right. Yeah, like rock, all kind of music. Well, it's basically everything. It's basically everything. <laughs> right. You are yeah. that audience like, kuch Kuch, I, kuch chhod raha nahi hai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuch yeah. Chhod he's, <laughs> not making, he's, he's not making it easy for us to understand. <laughs> um, yeah. Koi hai that puts you in a good mood. Whenever you feel low, because like, you know, we were discussing uh, music ek therapy mm. jaisa hota hai. Um, and you yourself are a musician. So, koi hai that, you know, immediately listen to you and it puts you in a good mood. I think Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. That's quite literal also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That song, like, I used to sing that song every day while going to school, if I thought it was going to be a good day. Ah, yeah. then that, that, that's the thing that, that you listen to. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, have you ever written a song? You write also, right? Yeah. So, uh, have you ever lit, uh, written a song maybe about someone that you know? I mean, obviously. The dreams. Or yeah. like, real also. Yeah, as I told you, like, the first song I ever wrote, yeah. like, the first inspiration to write a song came from my middle school crush. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think like basically, I think being a teenager right now, yeah. I don't have like mm, a lot of inspiration. Like of course, what have yet I been to exposed discover. to life in any right, ways? Right. But yeah, like simple, like childish stuff I yeah. write about basically. <laughs> Typical teenage drama stuff. Yeah. I, and also, you know, during our teenage years, we also figure out about a lot of things about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Not just the work that you're doing, you also are trying to know yourself. Yeah. That keeps happening, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, if there's no music, nahi hota, maybe, if not a musician, what else? Did you, did you ever have a plan that, okay, I have to make this, 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 apart from... I like, always wanted to make it in football. I like it. I think... Even now when I go to college, I'm going to try out for like their team and like always keep on playing football because if I don't do football or music, I think it's like I am, I feel like I'm not doing enough or like not working on the things I've worked on for so long, you know, it's like all that effort, like it feels like it's going to waste. Also, I have a lot of fun, like I, have, I enjoy doing those things. So right. yeah, I think if not for music, I would have been an athlete student right athlete. now. Okay, wow. What's the weirdest of, uh, you know, source of inspiration you've had? One inspiration we know, got, we know, like you, you, you th dreamt of something. Uh, very rarely, uh, it happened, like you said. Mm -hmm. Uske any, any weird inspiration that you can remember? The weirdest source of inspiration. Um, okay, let's not call it weird. Let's call it something that, unusual. you know, unusual. Yes. Something unusual was when I, when I went... Like through my like first heartbreak, like teenage heartbreak, of course. I was sick of luck songs. Like if you listen to music, 99.99% .99 of music is like, is just a love songs. <laughs> so like that like irritating feeling of like not wanting to listen to any more love songs, like sparked a, like a new song. Like, <laughs> like I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> like, <I saw. laughs> <laughs> like this is the end, Abhi sab ho gaya hai yeah. and all that. You don't feel like first heartbreak is very bad. It's very bad. Mm. Okay, how old were you when when uh, when your first heartbreak happened? Um, 14, 15. Yeah, uh, like three and a half years. Yeah, ago. not very not very long. Not ago. very long. <laughs> how long? Were, how old were you? Uh, first, mine was late, um, maybe 18 or 19 something. 18 or 19? Yeah, wow, yeah. that would have been brutal. 
Yeah. I think when you're 14, 15, you're like very like naive to even understand what's happening yeah. to you. You don't even know that's but a heartbreak. But when you're 18, it like hits like a truck. Yeah, like, exactly. If I had a heartbreak right now, I would not be okay. <laughs> <laughs> because that, then you know it's a heartbreak. Because 14, 15, yeah. you actually don't exactly know it's exactly a heartbreak. Exactly know it's a heartbreak. Yeah. You just, you just feel very, bad. like lost. Yeah. What happened? And you know? then suddenly you have exams. Hmm. So then you're focusing on yeah, that. Yeah, you have boards. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, if, have you ever thought of this? Like if you had a superpower. What, would, what it would it be? Yeah. Because all of us think of that. Or what would you want it to be? Not being invisible, not fly. I think teleporting anywhere, anytime I want. Wow. I'm loving the fact, you know, most people are saying this. Most people are Is saying this. Is it because this. of Bombay traffic? No. Okay. Probably. I think, I think we like, with like, like, the advent of like technology and everything, I think we're just trying to like reduce distance between yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. metaverse and like <laughs> FaceTime now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like just teleport anywhere at any given time and be with anybody you want at any given time would be like the superpower I would want to have. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm guessing Cause, that's the reason. Yeah. Because yeah. being invisible is creepy. And yeah, then <laughs> flying would be messy. Yeah. And yeah. And reading people's mind would also like cause a lot of chaos she in the world. Will so I think teleporting is a good thing. It's it's the best thing. Which but is why I guess yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> what do you want to have? Mine is also teleporting. Okay, like I said, no, it's, I think it's a Mumbai traffic that's there. No, for me, it's, for me it's, it's that. I or also I would want, you know, I can go anywhere and everywhere. Like, huh. And not At waste time, time mm. in traveling. Wow. Okay, what's the most unusual unusual venue uh, maybe, you know, you can think of where you would like to perform or you would have? I would like to perform in my bedroom because that's where <laughs> it began. Like, my first song I ever wrote was in my bed. Oh, no. The first song I ever wrote was in my classroom. Wow. But I don't think my school would allow that. Yeah, in class yeah, performing. In, in <laughs> class. <laughs> yeah, but like... If my school is listening to this, yeah, I would want to perform in the classroom, no matter what the teacher says, yeah. Please do allow. Yeah. <laughs> or as per your rules, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Whatever, whatever, is, whatever works. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're good with that. Imagine like waking up and suddenly taking up the guitar and started performing and have an audience in the bedroom. Yeah. That oh, would be that would be, that would be, <laughs> <laughs> that would be invasion of privacy, but yeah, that would be fine. No, by invitation, I meant. By invitation. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Okay. Um, if you could have any musician join on stage for surprise collaboration or maybe for surprise jamming, who would it be? It could for be surprise. living or dead. Yeah, just surprisingly you see someone, you know, um, in the maybe there at the venue and surprise. Any, it's a hypothetical situation. I think I, like, I always perform with my brother and I've never performed without my brother, Soham. So, I don't, I don't really think about performing with anybody else like that. Yeah, I've never really thought about it because it's always been me and my brother performing and anybody else like, I don't, I don't want to sound rude, but like they kind of ruin like the chemistry we have together. Of course. Of like performing. Yeah, yeah. it's understandable. Yeah, because yeah. it's like the brother, like brotherness. Brother, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Or maybe, maybe if you also had a partner, then also the chemistry is there. It's hmm. pretty understandable. It's not rude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, uh, you know, you said uh, teleporting, uh, you wish you could have. If mm. you could teleport right now to somewhere, where would that be? I mean, I have to, like, I've come here for this interview, but after this interview... Yes, after this. Before this, I'm not I, letting you go. <laughs> wait, yeah, there's going to be a lot of traffic going back to my yeah. place right now. So I would want to teleport, like, like we have a plan about, for, for like, playing football right now with okay. my friend. <laughs> so, yeah, that's like at six. So I would want to teleport there. After this, basically. Wow. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so Jani se pehle, uh, Jadui Pari. Uh, what part do you want me to sing? Anything. A any part. Any okay. part, any part. Okay. Or Aduri, Aduri, Vato, Me, Vasavi, Vage, Vage, Haik, Tasare, Setu, Yado, Me, Yado, Me, Parvasi, Tu. Okay. Amazing. I think we should all clap for him. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, any, any message that you want to give, you know, you have great, like, pretty good for follow base on social media. Uh -huh. Any, any message that you have for them? The message I have for you? Or you would like to convey anything? Is just take a chill pill. <laughs> life is coming, like, like, life will happen, don't worry. It's chill. <laughs> 
it's still out here <laughs> amazing on that note thank you so much for joining me it was amazing talking to you raman nice to meet you sir same here